The Manhattan Institute presents the Green Jobs Answer Man. Hi, everyone. I'm City Journal contributing editor Andrew Claven for the Manhattan Institute, and I'm here today to have a talk with the Green Jobs Answer Man. If you've been wondering where you misplaced that $2.3 billion you earned at work, President Obama is spending it on creating green jobs. And since it was your money before he, you know, took it, we thought you might like some more information on how exactly Obama's Green Jobs Initiative will work. That's why we're here today with the Green Jobs Answer Man, who can tell you everything you need to know about green jobs. Welcome, sir. I am the Green Jobs Answer Man. Yes, it's good of you to be here. I will tell you everything you need to know about green jobs. Terrific. Let's start at the beginning. What is a green job? Huh? Well, I mean, when you say a green job, what exactly are you talking about? A green job is a job that is green. Because you mean it helps the environment? The environment is very green. Right. Because it has so many trees. I see. So, drilling for oil, for instance, would not be a green job. Oil is bad because it is not green. Okay. It is black. Right. And sticky. Windmills. Windmills are very good because the wind is green. Well, you can't actually see the wind. But if you could, it would be green. So, building a windmill would be a green job? Yes. And making the materials you'd need, working at the factory? Very green. And transporting the windmill to the wind farm? Fantastically green. And putting the gas in the truck that transports the windmill? Grassy, greeny green. And... Drilling the oil that makes the gas for the truck. Another wonderful green job we can spend your money on. Right. Maybe we should move along. Once we have the windmills up and running, that will produce cleaner energy than coal or oil or gas, correct? Uh... No? Our scientists are working round the clock. Working on what? The wind. The wind? It keeps stopping. (laughs) Sure. I think it's because of the Republicans. Well... You know, the the wind blows where it will. Yes, which is not enough. We have to build a 50-story windmill just to get 2% of the energy it would take for a jet to lift off. Gee, that isn't very much, is it? We would need almost 50,000 50-story windmills to power New York City. Yikes. That uses up an immense amount of land, not to mention money. And we'd have to have fossil fuel-powered generators as backup, which we'd have to keep on all the time so they'd be ready in case the wind stopped, which it keeps doing. So, in other words, that's not very green. No. Well, okay, but solar power. Our scientists are working round the clock. Because? The sun keeps going out. You mean at night? Is that what it is? The sun goes down at night. I will pass that information along. Great. Uh, What about the fact that using wind avoids the dangers of, say, oil? For instance, thousands of birds died in the recent Gulf oil spill. With windmills, no birds are killed by oil. There you are. They are cut to pieces instead. Really? Hundreds of thousands of them. They fly right into those suckers. Wow. That doesn't sound very green. More red, actually. Ah. It's a bloodbath. Okay, so as I understand it so far, we're not really sure exactly what a green job is. And green technology is not actually any greener than efficiently using traditional energy sources. But President Obama has said that the transition to clean energy has the potential to grow our economy and create millions of jobs. So that's a good thing, right? Mr. Answerman? Government investment in green technology will create many jobs. There you go. By taking money from private businesses. Well, sure. Which could use it to create more than twice as many jobs. Really? But they would not be green. Yeah, but that just sort of brings us back to our first question. What is a green job? Huh? Never mind. We seem to just be going around in circles as day follows night. Does it? Yes, day follows night. I will pass that information along. There, uh, you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Everything you need to know about President Obama's Green Jobs Initiative. It is very green. Right. For more information, read Power Hungry, The Myths of Green Energy and the Real Fuels of the Future by Robert Bryce, or Energy and the Environment, Myths and Facts at manhattan-institute.org slash energy myths. For the Manhattan Institute, I'm City Journal contributing editor, Andrew Clavin.